Hello there, and welcome to today's video. Today, I will be covering the potential of a winter storm sometime later this week and early next week. This is all just a potential, not a confirmation, although all of the models are starting to go on board with the potential of a winter storm this Friday through next week, about Tuesday or Wednesday. So here's a GFS model as of the 12Z run. So I want you all to focus right here towards Nevada and Utah. You can see that it's the origin of the storm. This is 9Z Friday, so... This would be about like 3 ish in the morning. Then, right around early afternoon Friday, you'll notice quite a few snow showers start to spread out in eastern portions of Nevada, all throughout Utah and Wyoming. And then it weakens a bit towards Saturday morning, but then, right as we reach around midnight saturday then you'll notice that it starts to regroup together and the snow starts spreading to colorado kansas northwest new mexico northeast arizona and southeast utah and then here's about mid morning sunday heavy snowfall rates start spreading to portions of northern kansas and eastern colorado maybe southern nebraska and then this aside from snow potential there is also a potential that the storm may produce some severe weather, especially down in eastern Texas and Louisiana. And then um, here's around midnight-ish Monday. That heavy snow now spreads into Illinois, northern Missouri, southern Iowa, southeastern Nebraska, and pretty much all throughout eastern Kansas. And then that severe threat could end up if the Share and instability is high enough that severe threat could also spread to Mississippi and Alabama before turning to just a few isolated strong storms here and there. And then here's mid morning Monday, so you have heavy snow in the blues, and then some rain and isolated thunderstorms, a storm or two potentially being strong. And then also down here, you'll notice yet another round of storms start developing. Like, the severe potential, I don't think, would be as high, but it could still be here and there. But then it's, then, uh, that storm really starts intensifying. If the cold front is intense enough, it would show snow start forming the high elevations of the Appalachians and even northern Alabama, and then storms down here. Heavy snow right here. Then that type, um, pressure gradient could also produce some powerful, I mean, powerful winds. And then this could actually turn into a nor'easter with super heavy snow spreading to New England of very, very powerful winds. I mean, that's like 969 millibars. That is ridiculously strong. Then it just finally leaves. When all is said and done, according to accumulations, you would see right around maybe a widespread 9 to 15 inches across portions of Kansas before weekends a bit, widespread um, 3 to 6 inches across portions of northern Missouri, southern Iowa, and then re-intensifies as it heads into Illinois, widespread 6 to 10 inches here. But then Here's where you could see the potential up to even 38 inches here, 44 inches here. It will just be a very high snowfall event. And then, again, another thing I want to stress to you about would be the um winds. I mean, if this is true, look. I know this is, like, still about a thousand some feet into the air, but so reliable. 80 knots of wind, so... We could be talking some high wind warning criteria wind gusts right here with gusts of 60 to 65 miles per hour com combined with that um snowfall could really blow and whip it about then then the gf well that's the video for today i will move on to part two